It is the 20th of the 12th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Buckle up. I got a message from a subscriber here on YouTube. Um, brought my attention to a very large ozone hole. Um, looks like it's parked just off the coast of Ireland and it stretches clear up to Greenland. I will attach a link to the NOAA environmental visual website um, so you can take a look for this own zone hole for yourself. It looks pretty big. Uh, over to Earth Changes, Scott.net. Uh, U.S. satellite spies major winter storm heading for the Midwest. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in the Midwest. A fast approaching snowstorm could be a doozy in the country's midsection, according to forecasters. A developing low pressure system is expected to spread snow across northeast New Mexico and into Kansas from today, December 19th, into Tuesday with possible blizzard conditions, according to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The NOAA. Um, and this storm is due to hit us after midnight tonight, so we got a few more hours. Beluga whales trapped by ice in Russia. Apparently some sea ice has trapped uh, these beluga whales. They're sending a, an icebreaker out to try to break them free before they end up starving to death. U.S. giant tsunami-shaped clouds roll across Alabama sky. For a morning, the sky looked like a surfer's dream. A series of huge breaking waves lined the horizon in Birmingham, Alabama on Friday, December 16th, their crests surging toward, forward in slow motion. Amazed Alabamans took photos of the clouds and sent them to their local weather station, wondering, what are these tsunamis in the sky? Experts say the clouds were pristine examples of Kelvin Hemholtz waves, weather Seen in the sky or in the ocean, this type of turbulence always forms when fast-moving layer of fluid slides on the top of a slower, thicker layer, dragging its surface. And over to the extinction protocol. A volcano erupts in Yemen, spewing lava, a first for the region, says locals. A volcano erupted near Saba Island in the Red Sea on Monday, said a fisherman. Um... From Yemen, the fishermen confirmed that the volcano erupted near Saba Island, uh, one of the small islands located 30 nautical miles away from Salaf City. The fishermen said that the volcano can be seen three hours away from its center and that it has been popping up red lava that reached 20 to 30 meters high. The fishermen said that it was the first volcano they've ever seen in the region. Legends of the Fall, buckle up. Bank of America stock slides below $5 a share. And if you don't understand the ramifications of that, one of our two big fails is failing. Shares in the Bank of America, uh, Bank of America Corp. closed below $5 on Monday for the first time since the depths of the bear market in March 2009. The stock closed at $4.99, down 4% after dropping as low as $4.92. Shares haven't closed below $5 since March 11, 2009. Shares of financial institutions have declined on worries about the global economy and possible exposure to sovereign defaults in Europe. you got to remember, they're all stocked up on this European uh, bonds and stuff. They're all in bed together. And this is a very, very big bank. The contagion is spreading. The European Central Bank warned on Monday risk to financial stability in the Eurozone have increased considerably in the second half of this year, pointing most prominently to, to concerns about growing contagion effects from the debt crisis and bank funding strains. Uh, the 17-country bloc of central banks said that it is the, in the worst case there could be a return to a global recession, which is a fancy name for depression. Scientists mystifies on how Comet Lovejoy survived 2 million degree K temp Kelvin temperature passed through the sun's corona. A small com comet survived what astronomers figured would be a sure death when it danced uncomfortably close to the broiling sun. Comet Lovejoy, which is, all, which is only discovered a couple of weeks ago, was supposed to melt Thursday night when it came close to where temperatures hit several million degrees. Astronomers had tracked 2,000 other sun-grazing comets made the same suicidal trip. No one, none have ever survived. 
but astron astronomers watching live with NASA, NASA telescopes first saw the sun's corona wiggle as Lovejoy went close to the sun. Then, then they were then shocked when a bright spot emerged on the sun's other side. Lovejoy lived. And uh, scientists say massive black hole at Galactic Center could awaken in 2013. Basically, there's this big cloud gas that's being sucked into the black hole, and uh, that could cause some radiation spikes. They say there's no real danger to Earth, though. 14,000 additional deaths in the United States linked to radioactive fallout from Fukushima. An estimated 14,000 excess deaths in the United States are linked to the radioactive fallout from the disaster at Fukushima nuclear reactors in Japan. According to a major news article in December 2011, an uh, edition of the International Journal of Health Services, this is the first peer-reviewed by public, per, first peer review study published by medical journal documenting the hazard, the health hazards of Fukushima. Um, yeah, insane. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the RSOE. Um, of course, we Philippines are still dealing with their flooding from the tropical storm and all the damage that, that happened. Still dealing with the cold wave in India. Um, and we've got a environmental pollution in the state of uh, Louisiana. Shell enter. International spilled 13,000 gallons of oil and drilling fluids into the Gulf on Sunday while drilling an exploratory well near the site of last year's Deepwater Horizon accident. According to a federal report on the spill, the area where the well was being drilled is about 20 miles from the site of the BP oil spill. And they keep doing this stuff, so we've got another big spill going on in the Gulf of Mexico. get back here. Nuclear event in Romania. Apparently there was a water leak um, so they had to shut down a reactor completely until they get it cleaned up and the parts replaced. Um, we know the drill. Landslides in Indonesia, Central Java. Landslides in Azerbaijan. Snowstorm in Russia, the capital city of Moscow is having a pretty severe snowstorm. Uh, extreme weather in South Africa. Uh, basically, their shanty towns, just several houses just blown apart. Um, extreme weather there. That is about all climate change I have for you tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff. 462 trillion becquerels of strontium leaked into the ocean, says estimate, based on TEPCO information. And we can only imagine what the real number really is. New leak at Fukushima plant. 230 tons of radioactive water found in tunnel is rather hot. 9.6 million becquerels per liter. And they have a video on that. The BBC Actual situation is much, much worse than we were told, says Evacuee. From the start, the government officials have lied. And of course, we've been covering that over and over and over again. Uh, TV, 50 billion pounds of Japan debris should reach West Coast beaches. Concern it may contain radioactivity. May. Don't touch this stuff if you're on the West Coast and you see it coming up to shore. Uh, just a monstrous debris field coming our way, says oceanographer. Medical journal article, 14,000 U.S. deaths tied to Fukushima fallout. And uh, more on reactor number two. If it catches fire, all bets are off, said a uh, physicist on March 14th. NRC now admits it burned continuously for several days. And they've been lying and lying and lying to us, and the truth is... They can't stop the truth from leaking out of what is Fukushima. And um, 16.8 US V per hour at Park N T O C H I G I crowded with family during holidays, 100 kilometers from Fukushima. And they're not warning these people of the dangers 
uh, they are dealing with in Japan. And uh, finally, paper, strange, uh, yeah, we already covered that yesterday, the strange growth that they found in the savannah. Uh, that is about all I have for you tonight. Of course, um, you need to understand Bank of America is one of those too big to fails, and if that big domino falls, um, do the math. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Uh, remember to try to have some fun today and be the love you want to see in the world. Thanks, everybody.